Hi. Well, welcome to class. We're going to make the best of it. And what I'm going to do here is examples like we do on Tuesdays and um, problems similar to the homework. And we're going to start with this problem. It's like number two of the homework. If f of x is 3 times x plus 1 squared minus 2, sketch the graph. And here we see that y this is a shift of y equals 3x squared. And we're replacing the x with x plus 1, and we're subtracting 2. So that means this is a shift of y equal 3x squared, left 1, down 2. I'm going to start by just graphing 3x squared. 3x squared is a stretch of x squared by a factor of 3. So instead of going up 1, over 1, up 1, we go over 1, up 3, so there's y equal 3x squared. Now we shift that graph left 1 and down 2. So we'll take that vertex, move it left 1, down 2, and then we, we graph the 3x squared shape at that new location, means, which means we go over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3. So we have a vertex at negative 1, negative 2. We have a point at 0, 1, <clears throat> and another point at negative 2, 1. And there's our graph. Okay, now I'm going to give you one to try, and you can pause the video and try it on your own. Okay, here's the problem. If f of x is negative quantity x minus 3 squared, sketch the graph and indicate the vertex. So pause the video and try this on your own. So what we have here is a shift of y equal negative x squared and replacing x with x minus 3 shifts it right 3. Now if you remember from section 2.5, negative x squared is the parabola that faces down instead of up. And it has these three points, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, and negative 1, negative 1. So it's this upside down parabola. Looks like that. So we just shift this parabola over 3. So the vertex is moved from 0, 0 to 3, 0. And there's our graph of f of x. OK, now I'm going to give you a, a problem where we complete the square to write it in standard form. So here, we're going to sketch the graph of f of x equals 3x squared plus 12x plus 12 by first completing the square to get this in standard form. And maybe what I'll do is have you kind of, I'll, I'll guide you through the steps, have you pause the video and go to the next step. Your first step is um, factor 3 out of the first two terms, the x squared and the x term. So why don't you try this, pause the video, do that step, and then we'll all continue on. So when we factor 3 out, we get 3 times the quantity x squared plus 4x. And as you do this process, you should always be able to multiply out and get your original um, 
expression. Now the next step is to add that special amount inside the parentheses. Add, okay, we take one half of four squared inside parentheses, subtract the equivalent amount from 12. Now the equivalent amount is going to be three times whatever you added. So try to do this next step and I'll pause the video. Try this on your own. So half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. That's what we add inside the parentheses. That's going to make this a perfect square. And we don't just subtract 4 from 12 because when we multiply 3 by all these terms, we're adding actually 12. 4 times 3 are 12 to the right side of the equation. So we have to subtract 4 times 3. We, we can't change our equation. Whatever we add, we have to subtract on the same side. So now your next step is just simplify and factor, or factor and simplify. So factor that trinomial and then simplify the 12 minus 12 to get your final form. So try this on your own. So when you factor the trinomial, it factors as x plus 2 times x plus 2, which is x plus 2 squared. The 12 minus 12 turns to 0. So our standard form is 3 times the quantity x plus 2 squared. Now to graph this, you're going to be taking y equal 3x squared and shifting it left 2. So 3x squared is this parabola like we uh, plotted in the first example, vertically stretched by a factor of 3. We're just shifting this left 2. So the vertex is at negative 2, 0. And we go over 1, up 3, over 1, up 3. And there's our graph of f of x. Okay, our next problem, we're going to sketch f of x equals 3x squared minus 12x plus 10 by using the vertex formula, x equals negative b over 2a. Now it can be shown that the vertex of a quadratic in the form y equal ax squared plus bx plus c will always be at negative b over 2a. There's a couple different ways of of showing this. I, I do go through that in the notes if you want to look at that. Um, but that gives you the vertex. You don't have to complete the square or anything. And then once you find the x value, you plug it in and get the y value. And you've got your vertex. And here's the thing. When the equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, the graph is a shift of y equals ax squared. In this case, the shape is going to be 3x squared. So we know once we find the vertex, we go over 1, up 3, over 1, up 3. So in this case, b is negative 12, a is 3. See if you can find the x value of the vertex, then plug it in and get the y value of the vertex, and then graph this thing, noting the shape is 3x squared. So pause the video and try this on your own. So we take that negative 12, 
put it into the formula, negative of negative 12 over 2 times a, which is 3. That results in positive 12 over 6, which is 2. So the vertex is at x equal 2. Plug that value of 2 into the function. 3 times 2 squared is 3 times 4. 12 minus 12 times 2 minus 24 is negative 12 plus 10 makes negative 2. So the vertex is at 2, negative 2. And that coefficient on x squared gives us, gives us the shape. So it's y equal 3x squared, meaning we go over 1, up 1, 2, 3 from the vertex. And that gives us two more points, um, 3, 1, and 1, 1 in our vertex 2, negative 2. Okay, the next problem here. This is like uh, number 6 of your homework. The height h of t of a projectile at time t seconds is given by h of t equal negative 16 t squared plus 20 t. Almost the same as your homework problem, just a different value here, 20t instead of 40t. So you could look at your homework as you do this and just make a note of that. What is the maximum height in part A, and at what times will the height be 4 feet? Well, to do this problem, um, you have to understand what this function represents. It's a quadratic, and we look at the form of the quadratic it's in this form ax squared plus bx plus c. Well, it's t's instead of x's. And this leading coefficient is negative 16. That's telling you the shape. That's telling you it's an upside down parabola because it's negative. It opens down. And when t is 0, height is 0. So just approximately, this is the graph we get. We have a point 0, 0 and the graph opens down. So the maximum height occurs right at this point and that's the vertex. So we can use our vertex formula to find the x value, plug that back in to get the y value. And the x value at the vertex is x equal negative b over a. So copy this problem down, then pause the video and try to find that x value and then plug it back in. It's not x actually, it's, I keep saying x, in this case it's t, same, same thing. Plug that value of t back in to get the height. So I'll pause this now and then you do that. So we plug our b value, 20, and our negative 16 into the vertex formula. Negative b over 2a is negative 20 over 2 times negative 16. And if you calculate that out, it's 0 0.625. So that's the value of t right here at the vertex. We have to plug that back in to the function negative 16 times 0.625 squared plus 20 times 0.625. If you calculate it, it is 6.25. So that's the maximum height, part A, 6.25 feet. And it's kind of just an accident that it happens to be a hundred times the t value or, or ten times the t value. That's just coincidence. Um, that, that normally doesn't happen. Okay, we move on to part b. At what times will the height be four feet? What that means is h of t is four. So you're solving the equation four equals negative sixteen t squared plus twenty t. 4t. 
Now, there's a variety of ways you can um, solve this. It actually is a factorable equation. So you can either, well, either way, you're going to want to subtract 4 from both sides. And I would multiply both sides by negative 1 to give me an equation 0 equals positive 16t squared minus 20t plus 4 and then solve that. It's just easier to work with. So try solving that equation and come back and see what you get. So you can solve this quadratic by factoring. In this case it factors or use the quadratic formula. Either way you get two answers 0 0.25 one answer and t equal one the other. So what's happening here for this projectile at four, we have a point zero point two five and then another point up here of where t is four or one rather. And both of those values result in a height of four. So there's two answers here as the projectile is going up and as it's coming down. Okay, well that's it for the review problems. If you have other questions, you can post them in discussions.